Hi Auction Lifers! I got Q here with me to do the intro for this part of the Sword Unit unveiling. Anything you want to say? No. no. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoy. Um, after um, Mr. Auction Life does his stupid dad joke, be sure you tune in because there is more information about our giveaway. And with that being said, enjoy! There's a remote for like a TV or something. Power strip. This is all train this is all plain stuff. We're gonna keep the plain stuff and put that in with the books. There's a Cabela's catalog. Look at all the pages folded of stuff that he wanted. So maybe some of that stuff's in here. Although oh, we the catalog. This is wiring. There's a <laughs> AT and T phone. Are you are you filming me or are you looking at the sky? I'm not looking at the sky, I'm looking... So it's got a badge. Oh. Got her badge. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of paperwork in here. Whole bunch. Paper. Paper. We don't like paper. And more paper. Dryer sheets. I'll have to go through all this paper. I'm not going to do it on camera. Just to make sure that there's no money hiding. Oh my gosh. Put that there. Put it with all the electrical stuff. What is that? I don't know. It's plastic. Got a badge. There's some dirty towels with mouse poop on them. More garbage. Sometimes people roll the guns up in the towels, too. Check that out. I saw later. a bug on that. A bug? Yes. There's another DVD. My favorite movie. It's not in there, of course. Why would it be? <laughs> Nothing's ever in the cases. So this is play we'll keep the case in case I find a DVD on the, in the bottom. Yeah. Just oh, a oh, whole oh, oh. bunch of clothes. Oh, what's that? Mendel Sport Wax. Uh, that might be dried up. What's that? Playing cards. World War II airline spotter. Apparently this guy likes airplanes. Or he was a pilot. Yeah, could be. Let's see how big he was. 32 by 32. He was my size. He oh. was actually a little tight on me. Nice pair of Wranglers. Oh, I see a foam box. Oop, foam. Garbage, empty. Yep, garbage. There's a nice sweatshirt. That actually looks pretty Pocket cool. Shirt. Some paperwork. Paperwork. And more paperwork. What the heck is that? What is that? I don't know. Some kind of blow up mattress thing. thing. Cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off the queue. Oh, these. Dress shirt. Let me have that. Oh, let me take my glove off first. I'm going to take this stuff and sort and get rid of it because there's only a couple boxes left in the most of the other stuff. So, I'm going to get squared away up here, and then we will be back. Yep. Stick around. Okay, after that short intermission, we're back. Uh, that's a tote full of stuff that can go down. You can see I got my table empty, and I went through all the paperwork, and sorted the plastic and stuff like that there. And the reason why I say you should always go through the paperwork is I found these in there. Um, oh, dropped it. This is a little uh, flash drive. They're not worth a lot of money, but that was still in there. Be interesting to see what's on there. There's remotes I kept. I found the watch face for this Breitling. Although I haven't found the watch yet. I found, there it is. See the watch face? There's a knife sharpener, bottle opener. And I found this. This is actually a undermount scope or light for a gun. So, you know, you would put this underneath and there's your pistol, there's, you're holding it underneath of here, which really makes me think that that Glock might still be in there. Um, a couple of the bigger items I pulled out just because it's boring to look at to watch me fight with them. It's a nice little display cabinet. Oh. I don't think it's that old. 
but it's got a neat look to it the shelves are missing I didn't see any shelves yet however I can make those um, maybe out of like some reclaimed barn wood or something to give it much like a country hutch kind of feel it's footed on the bottom it does have a light in it up top there so there's a good 50 60 dollar piece just in that in the booth and this was the only piece of furniture that was in the entire unit so well i guess if you wanted to count the tv as furniture but that's what really i saw that i thought that i could do well with so there's my money that i have invested in the unit probably in just that item um i did unwrap the rest of the artwork uh we'll start down at the front here this one the frame's a little jacked up you can see the frame is a little screwy but it is signed um i will have to look into all of these and i always check the back to see if there's a rip in it sometimes people like to hide money in them this one here unfortunately is the frame is busted the glass is broke out of it but it is numbered it's 19 of 950 and it is signed i'll have to look the artist up here's another one signed at smith this one's a uh, thailand that's pretty cool the flying tigers um this is the only picture that he had that wasn't really related to planes then this one's numbered as well and the artist nr santorelli so if anybody knows any of these artist names or anything about these pictures leave me a comment here's another one the flying tigers 53 of 1500 523 of 1500 and it's got all the signatures on it i wonder if this guy was actually in that and maybe he knew all them guys but they are pencil signed i mean it's not you can see it's not like markers you know like it's not like a copy so i thought those are cool and this is what we have left i want to see this handle this i thought was really cool oh check this bad boy out Check this axe out. This is a chopper, USA. And it's got like spring loaded things on it, I guess, to split the wood as you're chopping it. I don't know, but it's hefty. I don't know how old it is. I mean, that's a pretty new technology to put them springs in there. But hey, I know another YouTuber likes to collect axes. Maybe he knows anything about them. Um, I'm going to get that tote out of the back and we're going to put that on the table here. So I'm going to set you down. I'm really hoping that we come across that pistol. That would just be like... I'm going to get some of these books too. All right, let's see. <laughs> Firearms assembly and disassembly. So this guy knew about guns. I mean, this is definitely a manly unit. We have, what is this thing? More old airplane ephemera. Culver Cadet. This guy was really into his planes. We have... The Battle of Britain, then and now. Oh, there's a bookmark in here. I wonder if he's saving that page for anything in particular. Nope. It's just where he finished. Pretty cool. Neat old book. Somebody might be interested in that. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to get that toot in a minute. These, I would assume, are drill bits. Miscellaneous hardware. Might be gun parts. No, nah, I don't think so. But anyway, you got that. Impact drill bits, brand new. 
It's got a new driver, some bits, driver set, old DeWalt stuff, Bosch, wood screws, that I believe is for tightening a saw blade, like that, more plain books, Messerschmitt, those are cool. Now I didn't go through all the books yet, and I didn't look them up, but some of them have barcodes on them, which will be easy to figure out. Luftwaffe fighter aircraft in profile. Oh, what's this one? This one's Japanese. The days of Ching Powell. This guy was into his aviation. Big time. Got some more. Flying Tiger. Pretty cool. And what's this guy? Flying Tigers. Now through a lot of the paperwork, I did find that the guy's name was Joe something. So I don't believe that he was Chinese. Oh, oh my gosh, more paperwork. Really? Papers? Do you store papers? What's that thing? Logitech keyboard? I'm gonna have to go through that paperwork and if I find... I'm gonna... I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go through that now and if I find anything in there, I'll leave it out on the desk. If not, I'm just gonna throw it in the recycling bin. So, be back in a minute. Alright, well that box was somewhat eventful. Uh, let's see what we found. We have a tape measure, that's good, um, a charger, we have some cords, we have an iPhone S, don't know if that works or not, we'll have to check that out, see if that, the screen's not cracked, so that's a good sign, we found the little Logitech flat thing. Now in the bottom of it was this box and it's not paperwork. I don't know what it could be. I didn't open it from June 2013 and it's definitely not a DVD player. So here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. What the heck? Talon grips. Oh, are these pistol grips? not in there stickers are in there paper Ooh, what's that what's that what's that what's that what's that ghost connector edge self-defense uh, tactical slide stop these are for a Glock look $99.99 that the guy paid for these. I don't know if that's what's in there. But that's pretty cool. Oh, there's lots of little boxes in here. This is a score. Glock plus one extension. $99.99 for that. That's empty. Oh, dude. Titanium something Not in there Where's the gun man? Where's the gun? Unless he carries the gun Bantam grips I don't think no, they're not in there either I'm getting frustrated Not oh, what's that? That's a bag Axis Knife company. It's the knife box, but no knife. Apparently, these are all just parts. I don't think the things like that. I don't think that's what that is. Oh, it might be. Anywho, that was uneventful. Um, I may have to look into these because that's not a very big container. You know what I mean? Like, that's plastic isn't real big. And these are... I think these are still sealed, so... 
Yeah, that's still stapled. I'll have to look into this stuff, but if that's what these are, these will go on uh, gunbroker.com and I'll put them on there. I might have just made my money just in gun parts because the Glock's a pretty famous brand. So we'll throw that bag in there. This, ooh, is actually in here. This is a tree stand, a self-climbing tree stand and pill bottles. Fantastic. So there's some other junk in here with it. I'm gonna probably take that out of the box. I think it's just trash. I'll do that later. If I find anything good in there, I'll show you. But I think that's just the tree stand, which is no nothing to sneeze at. These aren't cheap. A uh, decent tree stand could probably go for, you know, fifty to hundred dollars. And if this is a self climber and that's what's in there and and it's not broken, I'm looking at maybe very easily getting fifty bucks just for that. Especially living where I live. We got trash. We have a bag. Let me throw my trash away. Oh, we have another heavy duty bag here. Oh, this thing's heavy. This might have something good in it. Might just be clothes. I'm gonna go to the other side here and get this box. We have a box. Slide you to the back. Ooh, that's heavy too. That might be more books. Cardboard. And we have two lamps in here. Uh, $18 he paid for this one. And they kind of look like they have thrift store tags on them. I don't know if this one's brass. If that one's brass, that might be worth a little bit more. So I'll have to look into the lamps see if they're brass or not so even in scrap I can get a few bucks for it let's do this box more paper let's see a hunting coat Wrangler no these are jeans those are cool 32 by 30 they're insulated that's a good Poshmark item Put that in that tote. We got a hat. Oh, more. More Wrangler jeans. 33, 32. These are, I oh know, these might not be Wranglers. Real tree. These are what you would call a brush pant. They're like um, rough on the bottoms. So when you walk through sticker brushes, you don't get chewed up. Couple pair of them in here let's dump this bag I had a comment on one of my videos that my camera work is a little shady that people don't like my camera work it's very hard to take film while you're um, another pair of Wranglers while you're working with your non-dominant hand these are Cabela's these might actually fit Q I don't know if you'd wear camo pants to school but hey why wouldn't you but they're like brand new I'll wait till archery season gets close this is a Leopold harness maybe oh yeah I don't know Leopold it's not a sling I'll look that up plastic bag is gone hey guess what we got more plain books the last dog fight. This is P40 Hawks at War. V's for Victory. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big book. It's got some nice illustrations in it. Cool. Hawks. Cool. old plane books Curtis service manual get rid of the mouse poop 
My books are falling. My books are falling. Oh no, the books are falling. All right, a Curtis service manual. I'm gonna guess that Curtis is an airplane. Maybe he had a plane. That's kind of cool. October 25th, 1941. Wow, so that's probably the owner's... Uh, it looks like he kind of printed it off of a computer. I don't think that's from 1941. Although I could be wrong, I don't know. If you look in the corner here, look, it says restricted. All the pages say restricted on it. Interesting. Cool. All right. Now, the last bag. Blue glass, blue grass laundromat. I'm just going to dump this on the table. I see lots of clothes in here. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. right here. There's something hard right here. There's something in the bottom. These are crusty. Nothing good. <sighs> you tricked me. This here is stuff that you spray on your clothes when you're hunting so the deer can't smell you. I can smell you. As this, this unit stinks. There's some stinky stuff in here. Sheets. I don't think I'm going to save any of this. Uh, shirt. I keep the bag though. I kind of like the bag. The bag's kind of cool. Ugh. Socks. What are these? Pajamas. Fuzzy pajamas, man. Pajamas. Sheets. Now I will go through the pockets of these later. Just to make sure. Ooh, dirty underwear. Oh, yikes. That's fantastic. Blanket. Hunting vest. Cabela's pants. These are pretty ratty. So those will probably go in the donation pile. This is even ripped up. What's in here? Last bag, people. Stick with me. And it's sheets. Sheets or shirts? I don't know. It's an SH something. <laughs> so, all right. Kind of an anticlimactic end but like i said i'm into this for 80 bucks i think with the furniture piece and the artwork i'm going to at least double that with the tree stand you're looking at another uh 30 to 40 dollars if i want to get rid of it quickly so all in all i'm looking at close to maybe 200 250 dollars once it's all said and done counting all the books um but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of auction life and uh my neighbor's heading over this way so i'm gonna cut this thing short and now i have to do my stupid dad joke and my stupid dad joke is this oh you know what he turned around never mind so thanks for watching Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Um, we are doing our giveaway. And in the comments section below, you will see the date of when you have to make a comment on this video to say, please enter me in your contest. I mean, you could say other stuff too, but um, please enter me in the contest would be a good start. And we're going to give away that Corvette. So, thanks for watching. Let me do my stupid dad joke and I'll get the heck out of here. My stupid dad joke is this. 
What is a pirate's favorite letter? A lot of people think it's R, but their first love is the C. Thanks for watching. Keep living that auction life. See you next time. Bye. All right. This is going to seem a little random, but I'm going to try and see how my editor, how good my editor is today. I finished up my video. I did my final out and I was taking the stuff out of the truck to, you know, just to put the recycling in there so I could take that to this recycling bin. And I took the um, tree stand out of the box to get the trash out of it. And I also checked the lamp. The lamp is actually, this is actually brass. So that's solid brass. That's going to be a good hit. But anyway, as you can see, I dumped a box of trash out that was in the tree stand. And lo and behold, I found this. I found a barrel for a shotgun. All the paperwork for the long rifles and guns that I found in the mixed paperwork in there were for Mossberg. So I'm assuming that this is for a Mossberg shotgun. Um, I don't know if it's any good yet. I looked down the barrel. It's pretty rusted here, but that doesn't really mean too much. But it isn't pitted or scorched inside. So I know sometimes these barrels can fetch a bit of money depending on what model it is, what gauge. I believe this is probably, if I had to guess correctly, I would probably say it's a 12 gauge. It does have what is called a choke inside of there, that little thin ring. See that little thin ring on the edge of here? Let me see if I can show you. There's like another thin ring in here that you put this little wrench in and you can take that out and change it. So this might be a good score. I'm gonna take this to a gun shop and see if they can help me identify it. This would be something that you can sell without a license. I can sell this on Gun Broker or another gun enthusiast website, something like that. So my tip, check every box, every single, every single, every single box, pull everything out. Just because you think something's in there, there may be something hidden with it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this off because I already did my stupid dad joke. I forgot one other thing, I'll do that too. Hi, Steve Adcock. I'm gonna do a shout out in every video to somebody that's been with me for a while, so. It's your turn, buddy. Have a good day. Bye again. Okay, so as you can see, Mr. Auction Life did make a liar out of me. The uh, contest details are here. Not in the next junk auction video like uh, we had discussed. But anyway, so what you're going to do is, like he said, just put down in the comments that you wish to be entered into it. And um, I will put in the details as to the date we are going to draw, and um, we'll take it from there. Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much for your loyalty and your subscription, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.